Okay, Fuji announces their medium format camera. And it's going to be called the Fujifilm GFX 50S. 800 grams in weight, 51.4 megapixels. Sensor size of 43.8 times 32.9. Basically, 44 by 33 millimeter, a CMOS sensor. 51 megapixels, up to 1 4,000th of a second shutter speed. They're going to release it with six lenses. Um, the price has not been announced. It's going to be set for early 2017 release. Everybody else at Photokina is uh, scratching their private parts, uh, except for Fuji. So Fuji absolutely dominated and bulldozed everybody else at Photokina. Canon, Nikon, Sony. Sony came out with a huge, huge DSLR mirrorless camera. <laughs> huge. Um, good for them. Um... They're going to be called G-mount lenses with a short flange distance of 26.7 millimeters. Um, so yeah, they're G-mount. That's what they're calling this for the uh, for the medium form. 51.4 megapixels, like I said, with a resolution of 8,256 by 6,192. They're going to have six lenses: a 63 millimeter f/2.8, a 32 to 64 millimeter f/4 zoom lens, a 120 millimeter f/4 macro lens. Then the other three lenses are a 45 millimeter f/2.8, a 23 millimeter f/4, and a 110 millimeter f/2. So they're rolling right off the bat with six lenses, which should be no surprise. I told you all you people that uh, Fuji's been making large format lenses now for ages. Um, the camera is going to be called the GFX GFX 50S. Um, they have their own reason to name it the GFX. I'm going to say that it actually stands for a gigantic uh, bleeping X camera. You know what the F would be, right? GFX gigantic F camera. <laughs> That's what it should be called. Ah, Fuji will hate me for saying that one. Um... Early 2017 pricing is not yet available. Um, I got this off a live stream from a tie. It's called uh, it's like Camera Tie on uh, Facebook. Some of the specifications I got off of Fuji Rumors, and I'll give you the link below to their site. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, some of the GF lenses are going to say are going to have a resolving power of over 100 megapixels, um, which doesn't mean anything. I mean, actually, current old lenses are able to do that. That's actually uh, fluffy nonsense talk. Um, old lenses are capable of incredible resolving power, so that really doesn't mean anything, including, like, old Pentax medium format lenses. So that's... Uh, there also will be... I know for a fact, uh, like mount adapters, they'll let you buy cheap old medium format uh, Pentax lenses and throw on there. So if you buy the body, whatever the price is going to be, it's not been announced. There will all be all these really neat mount adapters for cheap, and I mean cheap and awesome. I used to shoot medium format Pentax. There's going to be, you know, there's a pile of cheap old Pentax 6-7 lenses out there, and they are really, really well made. And uh, that's awesome news, too. But the fact that they're releasing six lenses. So 51.4 megapixels. Woohoo! And a uh, 44 by 33 millimeter sensor, or technically 43.8 by 32.9. Um, oh, yeah, interchangeable uh, viewfinder and a tilting viewfinder. I actually saw from the live stream from Thailand how the entire viewfinder will actually tilt up like this. So you can actually look at it this way, and you can tilt the entire viewfinder up like this and use it like a traditional. Most people don't realize what this camera is. They're not used to, most photographers today don't even know what a medium format is. A medium format digital, by the way, is no different than a medium format film camera was back when I was using them. They are, they're not replacements for full frame. They're not replacements for even general wedding use. They're not. They are slow, generally speaking. You're not going to be getting speed out of this sucker, although it'll be certainly faster than anything else. Fuji has now dominated medium format. It's like the video I made three weeks ago telling you why Fuji's doing this. I was 100% right. But anyway, medium format digital is meant for hardcore Hardcore, commercial, product photography, fashion photography, architectural. It's not meant as a replacement for full frame. All these people are like, are you going to get this camera? Well, I mean, I'll have it for testing, but I don't know if I'm going to buy it. Um, 
This is not a replacement for 35 millimeter. It's not a replacement for anything. It is a specific arena of ultra hardcore. You're being paid some serious cash by some serious clients to do portrait. And some serious cash. It's like anything else you can whip out the 35 millimeter. This is very slow and very deliberate arena of photography. Commercial product. I mean, a lot of people don't get that. This is not like, oh my god, there's a new format of camera and it's going to replace your full frame. It's not meant as any kind of replacement for full frame. This is also another reason Fuji now dominates, even though the camera's not out yet, and they now absolutely dominate medium format digital. Why did Fuji do this, and why is Fuji not messing with full frame? Fuji could sit here and fight an endless war that they will never win on full frame with Canon and Nikon and Sony. Forget about it. In one fell swoop, uh, Fuji totally wins the war of medium format. It's like the old Sun Tzu about surrounding your enemy. I mean, they've already surrounded everybody with DX with their X-T2. Now they're surrounding everybody with medium. So they dominate completely in two different arenas. DX and, uh, and uh, hardcore professional medium format. See, they didn't even have to fight a battle. I mean, Canon's no competition. Uh, Mamiya is gone. They were sold off to Phase One. Nobody's buying a super expensive Phase One. There, it literally digital medium format was like a like two old men with crutches about to die, and like a super expensive uh, you know uh, fat schmuck. So you know, they literally it took Fuji nothing to completely win the war in medium format digital, and they did it in one fell swoop with the reveal of this camera. And uh, that's why they did it. Um, I keep telling people that, and they don't understand it. Some people understand it. So available in 2007, uh, 2000, <laughs> 2017, excuse me. No uh, pricing yet, um, but the target is going to be a body with a 63 millimeter, which is going to be its base lens for under 10,000, um, which means it blows the hell out of a Hasselblad right out of the water. Um, that means that the body alone should be somewhere around, I don't know, $6,500 or something like that. Honestly, I think the entire package should be somewhere around, around the $8,500 mark with lens, base camera and lens. Um, like I said, this is a very deliberate format. People don't realize that this is not a replacement for any full-frame camera. I don't care who makes it, it's not a replacement for that. It is a very deliberate, slow, hardcore, professional work camera. Um, that Fuji's happy to absolutely, totally dominate everybody in just one fell swoop by making this camera. I mean, that's a really, really, really smart move on their part. And that's exactly why they did it. So anyway, it's the Fuji GFX 50S. Which, Fuji says it means something, but I'm gonna say GFX stands for giant if f effing effing x series giant effing x series <laughs> which is what it really should stand for um so 51 megapixels and um 44 by 33 millimeter cmos sensor thanks for watching and i'll uh, catch you later i was watching the live stream actually i was watching the live stream on two different ones because the live stream kept stuttering I was watching the live stream on one thing on YouTube, and I was watching the live stream from Thailand folks over on Facebook. I was watching two videos at the same time. Oh my god, that was funny. And slightly aggravating. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you later. So, Fuji dominated Photokina. Nikon didn't roll out anything except those stupid little keychain cameras. So, nothing from Nikon, just as I predicted. No, you know, there's not going to be any new cameras from Nikon this year and considering the fact that Canon absolutely fell flat on their face with an abysmal failure um, you know why would Nikon or Sony um, you know roll out anything this year after Canon's huge failure I mean they have no pressure zero pressure to roll out anything uh, more this year so anyway thanks for watching bye